guys, Wolfie here with a book review. This is Ruby Before the Dawn, and this is written by E.C. Myers, with the overall Ruby story being written by um, Karen Shaw, Cross of Miles Luna. So basically, in a nutshell, Before the Dawn is the sequel to After the Fall, which is another book within the series. And this is also following Team Coffee and Vacuo. For this one, in a snippet, it's basically Team Coffee teaming up with Team Sun, and a lot of adventures ensue. So that's so it's a bit of a kind of crazy, you know, with varying twisted turns along the way. So that's all I'm going to be saying in the sense of, like, the plot. So with that, this is going to be a spoiler-free review. I am 100% unsure if I will do a spoiler uh, review because of a few things. As some of you guys may or may not be aware, I am going to be relocating house in the near future so as of right now i'm not really focusing a whole lot on doing like videos for the channel for a while it may not be till september or october before i can really do what i want to do with the channel you know that sort of thing so it is a real life circumstance you know i gotta take care of that so on and so forth now another reason why i'm unsure about doing a um, spoiler review is because some of the stuff I've been hearing about Ruby, like, overall, like, from both sides, you know, people who are really for it, people who are against it, it's just, like, I'm just really, like, I'm really one of those types where it's, like, if it's just too much, you know, going back and forth, bickering at each other over whatever, it's just, like, I just really want to get myself out of the fandom because of that. Because it's, like, if you agree with something, you're good. If you're not, you may be labeled as whatever. But anyway, this is going to be, like I say, a spoiler-free um, review. Um, as as per usual, this is going to be my opinion, my opinion only. So, a few things here and there. Um, I, I will say here that with this book overall, the only spoiler I will provide, quote-unquote, is that, is that in Before the Dawn, there's very little to no mentioning of anything regarding Team Ruby. And by that, you know, the flashbacks, a lot of stuff is not, you know, you don't really hear much about Team Ruby at all. And that's actually a nice surprise because if you're thinking about incorporating story and you're using Team Ruby in the flashbacks, it kind of like, it, had, it would have me like questioning those you know, certain things. It's like if you're putting certain things in there, it's like you might as well include them at some point. But, like, the lack of flashbacks is before the dawn. Like I said, it is a nice surprise because, you know, it's about moving forward as a team. <sighs> now, with the twisted, the twisted turns in the story, it's a really nice change. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I see what they're doing here. I see what they're doing there. I'm like, I was really liking that for some reason. It's like, it's kind of rare for me to say that. But again, this is because, you know, the whole thing with the main show, it's like how people are mentioning, and I had to agree with some of it, it's like where the inconsistency in the writing, like people try to force this, this or that. Yeah, it's just like the book here is a really nice, you know, surprise the sense of how the Twisted Turts were written. That was really well done. Now... Regarding um the the regarding the whole thing with Team Ruby, you know, when they get to Vacuo, you know, it's just a matter of like how will they react to what they see when they get there. And I like the fact that you know the way the whole story is and before the dots, it's like it leaves a lot of questions open. And I like the I like and I like that because it's like what will Team Ruby see? Will they see a Vacuo in good shape or in bad shape? We don't know. I like it how they ended it like that in here. Now, with that, the flashbacks in, this, in, the whole, in the book here, it's like I said, fortunately they don't have it for Team Ruby, but they do have it on the two teams that are mentioned in the book, Team Coffee, Team Sun. If I had to be completely honest, it's what they should have done in After the, after the Fall, but the fact they put it here a lot more so before the dawn, I actually do like that. I really did, because it's like, makes me get to know the characters in the book better. Now, um, the whole thing with Sun, is just like, he's a bit of a chick magnet, so I mean, 
However, the whole thing with Velvet throughout the book, you know, it might have some, like, romantic stuff here and there, like, in the future for the show. So, it's like, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, the whole thing with Velvet, how she's going to you know, affect certain aspects, you know, with the character dynamics, all that in the show when you get to the future volumes. Now, there is some speculation that Volume 9 for the main show is being written as we speak. The question is, it's like, how long will that volume be? Like, the type of, um, like, the, in the late, and then when it comes down to the individual chapters, how long is it going to be per chapter in Volume 9? Because, yeah. So there's a lot of things we don't know about Volume 9, but when it comes down to the Vacuo arc, which should, start be, should be starting in Volume 9, it's a matter of, like, how will the book be tied into the show at that point? And I'm really interested in, and I'm really inter interested to see that, how it unfolds, how it unfolds. Now, when it comes down to um, the lack of Team Ruby, I do feel that they have influenced members of both Team Sun and Team Coffee. You know, again, despite the lack of Team Ruby, like, being in the book. However, is their influence, and I'm like, okay, this may not be, it may not, may have not been a bad choice, you know, to do the book like this. However, you know, it could be up to individual interpretation all the same. Now, and I noticed this, like, again, with the epilogue in the last chapter of uh, Before the Dawn, I do feel that this does open the door for a third book to make it a full trilogy. The question is, and it's about count, not counting the chicks before they hatch. So it's more like, you know, the way the Before the Dawn ended, it does leave that door open. But the question will remain, will it, the interest be strong enough and last long enough for that to happen? Now, the thing is, is that um, regarding Sonny, you know, the sense of the new info in Before the Dawn, it's going to be, only thing I will say here is that it's going to change what people have thought of him. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Because some people are like, eh, this is not the son we knew in the show. Or, hey, that's a really good thing you did with son. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. So, the whole thing with the balancing of the flashbacks to the main story, it actually is a, it's a pretty nice, sweet deal here. But again, it comes down to individual interpretation. Now, um, the one real bad thing, you know, regarding Before the Dawn is the Twitter faction of the community and how they react to the book. The only thing I'm going to say there is that I, I'm just scratch, scratching my head. It's kind of one of those things where it's just like, I want to get out. Now, regarding the personal score and the, and the intended audience score, so the intended audience score is going to be a 10 out of 10, but my personal, personal score is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Now, the biggest thing that kind of like, it has me taking points away, is that, you know, the way it's written, you know, a potential romance, it's like, it's like, it's up to individual interpretation, but it could be a bad thing if it's like, if the third book comes out and continues the path. So, um, that's down that. And I mean, another, another thing where I'm taking points away is, you know, if this does not connect to volume nine, it, I mean, yeah, just a bit of a wait and see. So that's that on that. Um, I'm not going to keep this long. So, um, with Wolfie here signing off, I will catch you all on the flip side.